end up being piled up here. Um, I just found my concrete tools, which I wanted over a month ago. So nice to know where they are. Hey guys, next day, welcome back to the channel. This is 83 Garage and we're gonna paint that wall and then clad it with some old wood to give it a rustic look. Old deck boards that I wanted to repurpose. They've moved several times. And we're gonna paint that and then put them up on the wall once it's dry. And that's Quinn. He's being a puppy. Getting into stuff. Also, I'm gonna brace this up and make that straight. I know it's crooked. This bit of an update. Just tied all those in. So that's nice and like kind of boarded off. Can't say sealed. So the next step is to actually paint this with the exterior paint. I'm gonna throw that up there. So that way it's no longer this nasty, open, naked wood. Gotta protect your stuff, right? Finally getting around to finishing this thing. Excuse the random junk. This is all gonna be organized today. I actually wanna make a tire rack and put it up there. This is where all my cords usually hang. But that's my own grandfather's motor. The last thing I have of his, so one day I do want to fix that. It's an old Enrude. Funny fact, it's a 12, but it could be punched out to a 20 because back in the day, they made the engines for both and just created a smaller cylinder for the 12. So I'll do that right there. Will, it, will, I, will that zoom in? No, it won't. Focus, I mean. And then for the 20, same engine, just a different size cylinder. So I could theoretically have a 20 horsepower motor right there. Anyways, this is the paint we're using for the exterior. Heavy duty, high, high hide sealer and stain blocker so this is great for the exterior i had it tinted so that was good this is gray nothing special this is the color it'll probably get a little darker than this like i have a taupey kind of gray and i'll get the rolling so that you'll see gray beneath the boards and uh when i get those beasts there put into place zoom and focus there we go so that's what we're doing now the outside of this shed hasn't been touched in probably i'm gonna say four years i don't know when i built it and um we have a ton of wood to use on this so it's about time i get this finished i'm rolling on the paint and it's a nice heavy duty thick primer coat for color later perhaps so this is what we have for the wall looks a heck of a lot better than what it did Obviously, I gotta paint all those spots like I did down here. But all in all, good for an exterior paint, very thick. It's exactly what I wanted. So we're gonna continue on. I can easily do this wall, even though it's tarped off, just cause it's a straight line going right across. And then obviously this tarp comes down and then all this stuff has to go bye bye My mom piled it all up here. I don't know why she did that, but she does that to me. Um, and then the other part of this, where I might go, is this side and the other part of this is about where my woman's winter tires are i could easily build a rack after i fill this stuff in again same spot simple stuff also if you're wondering what happened here raccoons tried to get into my shed a while ago and um well they pulled all the insulation out and then squirrels nested there and then ants nested there the whole big pile of wacky stuff i did not want to deal with at the time so yeah we're gonna go over this wall we're gonna do this wall here because that'll be the easiest one i'm not sure what i'm gonna do for an access here yet i'm gonna leave that till later so we're gonna pull all this stuff off and get to painting as you know guys mom likes to pile all this stuff up i was actually originally cleaning those and i put them on my marble table cleaned them off and they end up being piled up here um i just found my concrete tools which i wanted over a month ago so nice to know where they are and uh it is what it is. So we know where these are. I'm gonna actually put them away. So when I do need them in the future, they will be a little bit, well, the same kind of rust, but uh, at least inside. So I know how that looks, but it's a shed. Did all the uh, plywood up top there. Eventually I'll cover that in metal, but not right now. So we're gonna clean this off, paint it, and then move on to the other side. As you guys saw, there was a tarp on the back side of the shed. I did that to kind of camouflage the shed because it's quite bright with just the bare wood. And here, I'm just going right over top of the uh, the stained wood at the bottom there where the tarp allowed water to sit. Lots of uh, random insects like uh, potato bugs and stuff like that on the back here. I swept it all off, it's good. And I just rolled it all out. It took my time with rolling it so that I would get the most amount of paint on the wood possible. Oh, that's done, that's good. This side's dry, I'm probably not gonna board it today. 
took out that little thing inside that because that was just irritating. I thought it'd be good. And usually they are, but the cheaper ones really, really don't perform all that well. The, uh, the inlay. So anyways, this is done. I still got to cut it in. The next side is all the way over here as I walk through. And this is where we're going to have to fill in all this stuff. Not a big deal. Still got to do the wall down here. Again, not sure why that's all like that. I'm guessing my mom did that. Although I did, this is where all my Jeep parts are. Um, my Trans Am hoods. I want to sell all this stuff. It's the two, I, I can't get around to it yet. Um, but I did put the ladder on the side of this thing instead of being on the front. So that's good. Now to do this wall. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to, not sure why there's all these burst points like this. I guess the wood. Um, let's see what here. No, there's nothing there. Just, anyways, not even, I don't even know. So we're gonna inlay all that stuff for the roof and then we'll put the pieces on the side so that the wall plywood will hold up the uh, fascia plywood, which holds up all the insulation. Speaking of insulation, we have to replace again on this wall. And after we put all the insulation in place, we'll do all of the plywood and at that point we'll clean everything and then paint the plywood exterior on this side of the wall. And might I say, it this this shed is looking bloody amazing. Lots of up and down, lots of working on this stuff, and it's a Sunday spent well. So, on to the next part of this. I think I just recorded that in time lapse. I'm not sure. Anyways, this is done. All the joints, what I want to do is uh, maybe I'll silicone them all just to seal them off. And uh, I still want to put the, the wood, I'm just cleaning up the paint right now, but I want to put the rustic on this side as well. So I'll do this side on the other side, see how far I get with that. That's this wood here, my old deck boards. So there should be enough to do at least one side. Um, and then we'll see how far we get. So I want to do the, well, I'm not sure if I want to do this side, that side, or the other side. I'll probably do this side and then see how far I get with this side and then whatever the scrap is on the other side, see how far. I don't know, who knows. Um, that all being said, I'm going up to the front of the shanty slash shed. So this needs to be organized. My mom just piled everything up here. Um, I'm probably gonna just toss everything off so I can actually get to this area. And then I wanna finish off re-insulating it because the raccoons obviously dug it all out and uh, put some boards up and then paint everything. And then I'm uh, probably gonna knock that down and then see where I am at that point. Hopefully what I wanna do today as well, it's only 4.30 now. I wanna take those tires, make a tire rack and just have them sitting up there nice and out of the way. I can always hang my ropes and, well, those are extension cords, but I do hang some rope and stuff that I have up there. I took them all down, they're all over here because uh, I was gonna build that shelf I'm talking about. So let's get to it. First part of this is cleaning the giant mess that was there. Next part is uh, cleaning around the door, all the extra insulation and shims and stuff, and then re-insulating as we're going, and then doing the plywood. After the plywood, we're going to be uh, painting, and at that point, I'm probably going to call it a night, because this was a lot of work and a lot of fun. As you can see, guys, we've actually filled it all in. Now, time to paint it, and we're going to call it a night. This shed's actually looking pretty good. I went and cut it all in. I'm going to talk about this again, but I want to, I'm thinking about painting the uh, rafters you see up there. Like, uh, it, this looks really, really good, and there's quite a bit of paint left. I'd say about 70% of the paint uh, that I, well, I bought two gallons, and then 70% of one of the gallons is left. So I'm quite tempted, very tempted. Well, that definitely looks a heck of a lot better. I might actually paint all this, depending on how much paint I have left. Lots of cutting in for that. Still have to paint, obviously, that spot there. Lights are looking good, but uh, now she's gorgeous. So guys, we're finishing one project at a time. If you like what I do here, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, be safe, have fun, take care. Peace.